It's Michael Yender, and uh, following a long career as a corporate marketer and an agency guy, I'm now a, a professional speaker and trainer and moderator and board member. Okay. Um, a lot of people, a lot of companies are moving uh, to social media, especially Facebook. How they should stand out to reach their goals and to be successful on social media? Yeah, that's a very, very good question, very relevant question. So here's, here's what's going on. Um, you need to find something that, uh, that makes you unique. And you can do that in many ways. Uh, you don't have to be like super, super unique uh, like some products are because most of us aren't. We compete with somebody who looks very much like us. So what we need to find in terms of uniqueness is what is it that our target audience, uh, what are their problems? What do they expect us to talk about in terms of solving these problems in the social media space. I think that is, a, that is one, uh, one thing that many brands overlook, that they have to address a problem in whatever communication they do, because that's what consumers and business buyers are looking for, They're looking for solving specific problems. So if you can address that and do that in a really good way, in my opinion, uh, you're already unique because so many of your competitors and your like-minded, they don't do this very well. They're just pushing out random information. A good example of somebody who does it really well here in this country is Samsung. I had the pleasure last night of looking over their, their uh, post, uh, specifically in Facebook. I didn't have time to look at the rest of the channels. And they're doing that. They're solving problems, but they're also doing something very important for technology, which is inspiring people to be able to do new things with the devices that they may want to purchase uh, from Samsung, whether it be the smart TV, which of course is very popular all over the world, or, or a mobile phone, etc., etc. So, in summary, answer the problem that your audience has. That in itself is going to make you unique and stand out, and be put uh, top of mind with your audience. Thank you. And you did great presentation today on password here on Riga. Uh, how did you like Latvian audience? Do you want me to tell you the truth? <laughs> no, of course. No, I, I have been to uh, Riga before and I loved it and I loved it this time as well and I want to come back some more. Uh, so my experience was that people were very attentive and uh, the questions that were asked by the audience were very good questions, not just dumb questions just to be heard, you know. It was, it was good questions and uh, the interactions I've had in the breaks afterwards were also very good. So my um, opinion has not changed. Uh, I think uh, people in this country are genuinely serious and what I like about them is that they seem to not want to do social media for all the wrong reasons. They seem to be care a lot about the company's money and focus on return on marketing investment. Even the agency people, which surprised me, actually also care about return on marketing investment. So overall, great and a great conference as well. How to measure results and KPIs in uh, social media? <clears throat> so as you know, being an expert yourself, you, uh, th 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 this is a a bit of a difficult question if we have to go generic but I come from a direct marketing background and so therefore I would have to say we need a full funnel unfortunately many brands are just focusing at the top of the funnel right now which would be for example likes on a post or share share of course is more important or comments but I think it's very important that we find a way to look from the top of the funnel all the way down to the bottom of the funnel the bottom of the funnel is where people either buy or are ready to make a purchase decision so finding KPIs depends, of course, on your situation, uh, but I would have one initial one which would address top of funnel, one middle of funnel, again, depending on what you're selling. If you're selling expensive TVs, for example, you would have a middle of funnel, and then you'll find a KPI for that, and then one at the bottom. What exactly they are would depend on me knowing what you want to sell. Thank you. You're welcome.